Presentation de petition, presenting petitions, the Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a privilege and honour to rise today to table uh, two petitions on behalf of residents from my riding at Courtney Alberni. These residents are from Courtney, Cumberland, Parksville and Port Alberni. Uh, they'd like to draw attention to the government to address the opioid crisis. They cite that over 11,000 Canadians have died since 2016, uh, preventable deaths from uh, fentanyl poison sources. They also cite that these deaths are more, Mr. Speaker, than all deaths combined from SARS, H1N1 and Ebola and they wanted the Government of Canada to declare the current opioid crisis and fentanyl poisoning, poisoning crisis a national public health emergency under the Emergencies Act in order to manage and resource it with the aim to reduce and eliminate preventable deaths. And they want to reform current drug policy to decriminalize personal possession and lastly, with urgency and immediacy, a system to provide safe, unadulterated access to substances so that people who are using substances experimentally, recreationally or chronically are not at imminent risk of overdose due to a contaminated source. The next petition, Mr. Speaker, they're calling on the government to put an end to the housing crisis. They cite that over one in five Canadian households are spending over 50% of their income on housing, that the Liberal government promised to provide and build more affordable housing to help uh, you know, uh, but most of those funds are held up until after the next election, Mr. Speaker. And as we know, more and more Canadians are one pay paycheck away from making ends uh, meet. And so they're calling on the government to build more affordable housing units urgently, more co-ops and non-profit housing. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Petitions,